Hi, this is Ashling. Today I wanted to show off one of my old sketchbooks. The book itself was designed by Anne Stokes. Now, as you can see, I completely destroyed my sketchbooks and they end up being held together with sellotape. Now, this was made between 2012 and 14. Well, I was between 16 and 18 when I filled this out. Started and finished it just before my birthdays. So yeah, I really, really destroy my sketchbooks. In the sketchbook, um, there are little illustrations done by Anne Stokes and a bit of line paper on the other side, just dotted about throughout it. Okay, the, the paper's a bit thin, to be honest, and for what I'd want now. So at the start and at the end of my sketchbook, I did the same illustration twice. Now, the paper does smudge quite badly, so quite a few of my drawings have been somewhat destroyed. <laughs> um, because I was doing it in pencil, and also because I was carrying about all the time, so it's always moving. This is a little drawing of myself, but since I was working on it in the mirror, I ended up being right-handed for the drawing. So here we have some Pokemon characters, and on the right, Delirium from Sandman. The Tentacruel came out quite well, but the rest of the Pokemon are a bit generic, to be honest. <laughs> There's an awful lot of just little doodles in here that were rather unfinished. This one on the right is of a Medusa character. I was meaning to finish her for a while, just playing around with the foreshortening, but I lost interest. Um, one of her and Stokes illustrations. Now here we have us designing a steampunk caravan. So this is the top down floor plan of it. Um, I believe the stairs move back and forth from being inside or outside. I went a bit overboard with designing this to be honest, so loads of tiny doodles, can't really see what's going on in these ones too clearly, but um, I'm out that this is the left side of the top and bottom floor, so everything above the line is the top floor and everything below is the second floor, so that's the kitchen area and the front door. So yeah, I went really overboard with the detail, um, at the front there's this sort of um, balcony window bit with my bed in it. Uh, the right hand wall, so um, library, balcony with hammock and bathroom area through a wall. I'm not sure if this is actually working size in real life but oh well. And those are the stairs leading outside. That's the back wall, so leading to the two balconies because you can't stop having balconies. Um, on the left, on the right, is a Tiflin character I did. She came out quite well, but she smudged so badly it's kind of hard to see. And this is a little apple sticker, I believe, that for some reason I was keeping in there. And now for one of the illustrations in the book. Uh, these two I drew whilst I was over at Sky. Um, I just got these pens for the draw character. And they're, they're, it was really nice to have them, but they had a weird wood effect on her skin that I didn't really quite figure out how to fix. Maybe if I did play around some more now, it would work out better. The character on the right, um, I don't think I've actually uploaded her fully did on, online, just the sort of cropped digital version I did of her. It's one of my favourites. This was another favourite that also did at Sky. Um, yeah, I think this one's my favourite throughout the whole book, actually. Just little random doodles, still while starts at sky. And as you can see, the pen bleeds through quite badly. So if I'd laid it out better, it would have worked better. So these were little randomly generated, like, word prompt characters, all ninjas. More little ninjas, and I was starting to get into Celtic knot work at the time. So this is Kayara, one of my previous D&D characters. Um, not the best photo of her. If you have a look at her mouth, it's somewhat scary. Um, this was a design that I got told looked like Alice. No, Annie from League of Legends. Um, which at the time I didn't play. But later on I ended up designing Annie. Well, a jester skin for her. When I did start playing League of Legends. More Celtic knot work. 
and a different picture of Kara. So she was my Shadow Kai Invoker who teleported a lot. I didn't do that much adventuring and definitely wasn't really a hero. They just kind of went around destroying places and setting fire to things. <laughs> These were done whilst I was at my friends. Um, I think it was when I was taking violin lessons. I knew I was staying at hers for a while whilst I was doing the violin lessons, so I think it might have been the same time, but I'm not completely sure to be honest. Eddie, a friend's D&D character, described to me as an anime girl with pink hair and a really deep voice. <laughs> Uh, this is one I really should actually put up online. Um, I can't remember where I found the original photo, but I'm quite happy with my copy of it. And it's amazingly not smudged that badly throughout this. There's an awful lot of just quick little doodles in here, unfinished things. This was a Celtic Network Yin Yang. But yeah, an awful lot of unfinished bits and bobs. This is my version of Marceline the Vampire Queen from Adventure Time, though I kind of ruined the style and uh, yeah, it's nothing similar really, but oh uh, well. This is a pair of Celtic Knockwork Dragons I really should get around to finishing. I'm, I'm really happy with it still. Um, I just can't be bothered repeating and doing the exact same for the other dragons, but I should. I should and get it done into something proper. Um, I think this one was from inspired by a character in a friend's drawing book or something. A way of drawing or something. I can't remember. A little demon character and on the right I was making up my own language which basically involved flipping the um, alphabet upside down. So up here you can see if you look at the ones on the left just flipping upside down and editing it. So. You can kind of you can kind of read it if I turn it upside down and you know what you're looking for, to be honest. But one of them has a bleeding nose, but I was really happy with this one actually. Um she smudged a bit now, but at the time the face was really good for me. And yeah, this one was okay until she got a bleeding nose. <laughs> yeah. The pen bleeds through quite badly on this paper. Um, a little tiffling, sci-fi tiffling assassin character I think she was. I did a better picture of her. Um, the character on the right is Katharina, um, an Alp or Mara character, so a dream eating character. Um, she was inspired by the Chubby the Vampire series. So on the left is a random symbol that appeared in my dream. And on the right is a bard, elven bard character I had, um, who was mute until it turned out I couldn't get away with using my powers and being mute at the same time. Um, the one on the left was done on Christmas. It actually reminds me a bit of a friend I know, her face. Um, I quite like that in the full style to it still. On the right is a bit of a game design actually, um, a bit of the rooms in it. I think we called it Dream Scar. We never got that far into the game, into making the game. It was meant to be a sort of soul slash, well, horror slash, the jumping through dimensions idea. Um, but we never designed the main. We never got past these few drawings of the main world and these characters designs for the main world. We did a little bit on one of the mini worlds. Um, I don't know if this statue actually appeared in one of the mini worlds, or she was designed for it. But I don't. I can't remember if she actually got turned into an actual film model or not. Um, a sort of portal we gate thing. Um, from the main world to one of this fantasy dream world, and the boss of the dream world. Though I don't think he ever actually got designed. I think what well, we had some mushroom trees and a crystal castle and a few bits and bobs for the dream world, but not much. Um, spooky drider lady. Um, on the right is um a design for Kara's full outfit, though I don't think she ever properly got designed. 
Fiona Wright is um, my anti-mortem characters as a band. I think it was inspired by a Star Wars band picture I saw. So, I, yeah, it never happened. <laughs> this is my pirate cat owl of doom. I should draw some more cat owls. I quite enjoy them. <laughs> On the right here is just some rough sketches of a layout for one of the anti-mortem pages. At the time I was drawing my characters loads, so yeah, that's fallen off. Um, down on the left, um, I turned into a bit of digital art and there's a few different coloured versions of it. And the girl on the right just kept harassing me until I drew her and then I had to convince her not to rip out the page from my sketchbook. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, this is... Elizabeth and Bess from my comic and Bess and Morris looking rather rigid in all the poses. A young Elizabeth and James and on the right is Maggie, my Kinku rogue who ate eyeballs and was light enough to the Goliath used her as a dart um, and threw her at dartboards and walls and yeah, other things. They bind down an awful lot of ends. That's a recurring theme of my characters. This is Azura. Um, I can't actually remember what class she was. The Tiflingo. She was very focused on arcana and healing, so became a mutator as her job. Um, giving people cat ears or hoofs or... Horribly disforming rats as she practised. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to redraw this one actually. Maybe make it into a sort of Christmas card thing. I don't know. Um, this was a random alien girl from a dream. I believe it was inspired by another artist's painting. I can't remember who. Though it took me a long time to figure out that's who it was inspired by. I just came across it again recently. These were really rough and random um, doodlings with friends of them telling me what to add to things. So, so yeah, really stupid little things. Um, Elizabeth being grumpy as what would be Alice putting a Santa hat on her. These were a piece from a quick lesson about um, movement in comics, though I can't actually remember what any of them refer to. But yeah, just general movement in comics or something. Um, one of Elizabeth and Georgie's, trying to design Georgie's hair, which was a nightmare for such a long time. And I'm still not really happy with it. But, well. Oh. Um, random lipstick kisses. <laughs> and... Pendoodle. So this one was of a friend. Um, I'm not sure if you'd be able to recognise him without knowing who it was in advance, but um, um, this was a vice by my cat at the time. Um, on the left is some friends characters. And the end version of the one at the start. To be honest, I didn't improve much that year. I was drawing a lot, but I wasn't trying to improve. And the cloth is better. Maybe the composition's a bit better. But, yeah. Um, a bunch of ones of Elizabeth just trying to get her face right and failing over and over again. That one came out quite well. More realistic look. Hands copied from various um, how-to-draw books that I never actually used as reference, but I went to the effort of copying over. And my pages stuck with the sellotape, so I'm not sure if I can attach this properly. Um, eyes and cloth and mouth examples as well, all from other how to draw books. So yeah, um, as you can see I completely destroy my sketchbooks. So yeah, I hope you liked looking through this. Um, it was quite an old sketchbook, I didn't improve much, but not that good. <laughs> um, but this is what I had on me at the time and I figured I should start uploading them. So I'll do the more recent ones soon as well.